Welcome back to Rob's Quads, guys. In today's video, we're going to be touring one of the world's most expensive aquariums. But before we get into today's video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn off those notifications. Let's get right into the video. So right off the bat, right in front of me here, guys, we've got a bunch of little baby sea turtles. Now, these ones over here are super small. I'm not too familiar with the species between sea turtles. But these guys right here are tiny. They're a little bit different color, but they are absolutely adorable. Over here to the right, we got some slightly larger ones. And they've just got absolute tons of these guys i don't know why they're doing this if you do know why comment down below but all these sea turtles are looking very active and very healthy um these guys are seem to be crunched down here in the rock and for today's video guys we're basically just going to run around the entire resort and i'm going to show you guys every single aquarium every single fish i might not be able to identify every single one of them but regardless i just want to share the experience with you guys as well and right here behind me guys we have a manta ray or some kind of stingray enclosure these guys seem to be they're actually really cool they kind of just school around and they're so graceful the way they swim they've probably got hundreds of them in here and we got some massive stingrays in here as well not too sure what these species are but you can see they're very friendly very very cool species of stingray a few other species of fish in here that i can't really see too well right now we got a few right back there. They're very small little bait fish. I don't think the stingrays eat them, but also along in here, there's a couple bigger species of fish. Again, I'm not too familiar with them. I'm pretty sure these are all native species of the Bahamas. We got a big tang right down there, looking all graceful. And very soon, guys, I'm going to be showing you guys the predator tunnel. It's got some insane predator fish, some giants. They're very, very cool. And also, guys, just in case you forgot, I am going to be announcing the 50K subscriber giveaway winners in this video as well. Right now, guys, we are going to be entering the predator tunnel same honestly <laughs> for those of you who like landscaping you know nature stuff it looks very very pretty they do a good job planning here um i didn't state what resort this is yet but i mean you might have to figure it out wow look at all the rocks heading into the predator tunnel is it here oh it's right here boys so right off the bat guys we're met with this right here we got some tangs some royal dramas so we had to walk past the tour but right off the bat guys you could see there are some monster tarpon in here these things don't even fit in the frame they're very very curious fish and there's also a ton of sharks guys these enclosures these aquariums are absolutely giant we got a grouper or a snapper huge shark over there the clarity isn't as good as it was the other day but again millions of these little bait fish so this enclosure is super sick there's more to it we're gonna just travel down the whole thing over here so you guys can see some more big tarpon and somewhere in here is a sawfish but these things are literally ginormous i mean they're each 60 pounds a piece at least we got these fish right here i'm not sure what to identify those as i don't know what they are but some huge barracudas right here guys look at the size on that barracuda that thing is huge <laughs> literally like five feet long almost as big as the camera girl <laughs> but damn and look there's some more sharks just chilling out in them actually that could be the sawfish hanging out there Hey buddy, literally the tarpon are constantly coming up to the screen, but we got a bigger barracuda. That barracuda is ginormous. Oh, <laughs> there's that sawfish. I don't know if that's the monster, but that thing is like 14 feet long. It is absolutely ginormous. Usually he doesn't cruise around. I haven't seen him cruise around until just now. He must've wanted to show out for the camera, but that thing is ginormous. Holy. <laughs> Oh, look, there's the second one. What the, What is going on right now? Why are they both out? I've, I have not seen that happen here. We'll go to the other side. <laughs> look at that, guys. Both sawfish are swimming out over here. Look, they're just cruising. You guys can't appreciate just how massive he is. Look, he's saying hi to you guys. Like and subscribe and turn on post notifications for more videos like this. Guys, I had a lot of fun going to this resort for my birthday, so we could make it a thing. Harpin right here. But those sawfish are super social. Right here, guys, we got a tunnel. It's super cool to see this display like this. We got this huge school of cod or snapper maybe right here. And then it continues down, and the sun is directly over us. Uh-oh. I think the tunnel's going to explode. Just kidding. <laughs> But we got these super cool fish, guys. I'm gonna try to find an identification chart so I could show you guys all the species names because I genuinely don't know what all these fish are. I know some of the big names, but not everything. We got some cool little parrotfish probably. Yeah, that's a parrotfish. Look at the beak on that guy. Another tiny little shark. That might be a black fin or a black tip. And over here, guys, in the main, oh look, the sawfish came again. Look. He's right there. He's just chilling right there. He came back, but I picked up the camera again because over here, you could see a lot more sharks. They like the more open water. Another huge tarpon right here. And there's more fish tank, guys. It's not just the predator tunnel. There's even more fish than right here. But these sharks, super curious. They come up to you right when you come by. Look at that right there. 
Beautiful fish. And then over here, uh, the sharks look so good in the sunlight. I would hate to see them outside, but we also got some big stingrays in here. Oh, <laughs> look at that guy. Dang. I could show you guys this from the top as well. And if you're curious about what shark species are in here, it's the Caribbean reef shark and the black nose shark. We already knew the small tooth sawfish, they're critically endangered. And luckily, we've been able to find all the signs. So there's also a Goliath grouper, yellowfin grouper, Nassau grouper in here as well. The southern stingray and the surgeon fish. So that's actually not a tang. That barracuda is literally ginormous, but also. Then the schooling fish, the great barracuda, tarpon, we already knew this guy. Blue runner, bar jack, and the horse eye. Jack. And they had even more sharks in here, so I wasn't wrong. There's a black tip shark, nurse shark. We haven't seen one of those yet. But also the black nose, and there's a great hammerhead shark here as well. And this is what that enclosure or aquarium looks like from the above, guys. As you can see, the size of these fish, they're not really around here all that much right now, but these fish are actually giant. I'm hoping for a tarpon to roll around so you guys can see, but it's a super sick display. Look at the size of that tarpon right there. Camera really doesn't do it justice, but it is huge. That thing could eat a small family of five. And right here, guys, is above that tunnel. You can see it open up a whole lot. All the sharks and stuff are down there. And then over there, they have something very special in that singular pond. Only one fish is in that. And there it is right over there, guys. I'll try to get closer up on it. There's a hammerhead shark in here. He's huge. He's very, very elusive. You can see him way back over there causing a scene. You guys could probably get a better look at him from here. Isn't that scary? I hope we could get him coming around. I don't know why the camera's shaking so much. You guys could probably see him pretty good right there. I hope he comes around here, but this is what he does like all day. He just sits around and splashes about. But you could see the hammer on him. I would hate to run into that guy in the ocean. He is huge. And right here on this bridge, guys, there's a lot of cool little fish that you don't really see in any of those aquariums. There are a lot of schooling fish. I don't exactly know what they are. Again, guys, if I find an identification chart, I'll let you know. I think there are some sergeant majors down there, probably some smaller tangs. We got some bigger fish schooling down here. And the other day, there was literally like hundreds. I'll throw up a clip from my phone that I recorded on my phone of the sheer amount of schooling fish that were in there that one day. Now, you might be wondering, guys, why I didn't bring the camera girl on this trip. And that's, the, well, the truth is I actually did but what happened was is I threw her in with a hammerhead shark and they actually had me in jail for a few days so that's why this is the only thing I recorded I threw her in it's really hard to record that for the video as well just because I was actually trying to throw her in the pit while recording but you know just that's that's for those of you who are wondering where the camera girl is she's with the she's in the hammerhead shark actually the water here though guys is crystal clear and also unfortunately they did make me delete the footage of me throwing her in the pit so you know, Nassau police, not really cool, but it is what it is. There's a little baby Jack right there and then some Sergeant Majors. I'm pretty sure I do see these on the Florida coast as well, but there's actually a ton of these guys over here. They're, oh, there's a Tang. Oh, that's cool. Oh, hello. There's a Tang down there. I saw a few of them. Super nice blue color on those as well. And in here, guys, is the tunnel. This is the next largest aquarium. They got a lot of smaller fish in here. Some really cool little ruinscape. Oh, there's people swimming. Um, that's actually an invasive species. Uh, <laughs> down here we got some more fish. That's an angelfish right there. I'm not too sure what the rest of these are. That's definitely a tang, but we're gonna keep cruising on along and see if we can't find some big old fish. But the water in here, it's incredible. And we're just gonna walk along this tunnel. I'll show you guys everything as we see it. Some beautiful fish in here though. What else do we got? Oh, look at those. I don't actually know what those are. Some tarpon right here. And you can see just how much smaller these guys are compared to the ones I showed you earlier. Those ones are absolutely huge. Oh, we got a Nassau grouper right there. Wow, look at that. One of the stingrays up close and personal right there. Beautiful. And then we got so much schooling fish in here. They all look so incredible. These things are so cute. I wish I could have one of these in my own home aquarium. But if you look back there, there's a bunch of groupers and stuff just chilling. And over here in this room, guys, we have this, I thought it was like a sump or something low key but it's just like a little mist thing and in the back we got the only freshwater aquarium i found aside from another one and this thing right here guys is just like home we got like 20 black paku full adult size they look incredible um these things are straight footballs you can see the thickness on this guy right here i'll wait for one to come across the front and show you guys against my hand but this guy has been racing around all day these things are absolutely massive they're a few feet back right now so i can't really show you too good just how big they are but these guys are ginormous Look, <laughs> they're all like 60 pounds, it's like 40, 60 pounds. They're absolutely monsters. Oh, and over here, guys, we have some ginormous, full-grown eels. I mean, these things, 
That guy that just slithered there on in the back right there and rolling around, he was easily eight feet long. We got some ginormous mores. Very spooky, scary looking. They're very mean looking, but they're super, super cool. We got one shelling on the floor right here and another one right there. There's a couple of them in here. Look, there's even two more right here that we didn't even see just now. This guy's going up for some air maybe? looking for some food, but you can see just how large these eels are. Over here, guys, we got this sick little, I think these are skates. I don't believe these are regular stingrays. I think they're skates. They're just a little small baby stingray, but they're adorable. They're in this weird little enclosure where they just kind of swim in circles. And then over here, guys, we got this beautiful jellyfish aquarium. Oh, ew, what is that? Oh, they're feeding the jellyfish. Oh, that's cool. I thought it was like a squid inked or something, but no, they're just feeding the jellyfish. Look at that. They're just tumbling around in there. Is that how jellyfish eat? Look at that. He's just doing his thing. And right here are some of the only corals I saw throughout the entire place. Just a little baby reef. I'm sure these are actually native species of the Caribbean as well. Some little baby clownfish. Oh, a tiny little baby stingray. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, wow, guys. Look at that. Look at all of these fish right here and that monster stingray in the back. Some absolute giants, some really beautiful fish, some native coral as well. Everything looks so, so good. Oh my God. And right here, guys, we got some giant groupers. I believe these are bumblebee groupers. These things are ginormous. That's definitely the Nassau grouper we saw on the ID chart. But these things are absolutely massive. Some really cool fish like this thing. It's ginormous. I mean, easily 200 pounds. And these lionfish are pretty interesting. They got a few of them in here. Another little fish. There's a hippo tang right down there. This ugly dude chilling. And a couple other fish in here as well. And out of all the enclosures, this is probably the strangest aquarium I've ever seen. Literally just tons of the bohemian lobsters. These might be spiny lobsters. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure they're just Bahama, like the bohemian locale of a lobster. But it's just this weird little tunnel where there's just like hundreds of these chilling in these tanks. It's the strangest thing, but super cool to see regardless. Oh, they got some massive jacks schooling around the tank right here. Absolutely beautiful. And that is it for the tour of the aquariums, guys. We're gonna head back to the house and I'm going to announce the giveaway winners. It's also going to be my birthday, August 5th. So I'm gonna set up a few ways if you guys wanna send me a birthday gift that you could actually accomplish that. It might be a PayPal, it might be a Venmo. I'll know by the time I actually announce the giveaway winners but I'll catch you back at the house. All right, guys, we're back at the house now, and I'm about to feed all the fish and give you guys an update. It's been about four days since I've been gone, and they're all looking really, really good. I just also picked the giveaway winners. They're all listed right here. So if you guys are Brandon Wheeler, Manny Hernandez, and Diego Apaz, expect a DM from me on Facebook. I will be contacting you for your information and sending you. Uh, a 10 gallon tank, but now that's out of the way. We're going to feed the boys the discus are all looking good Everything in the tank for the most part is doing well. I've got all of this right here For the discus we're gonna drop it in right there and you can see the boys are still eating well Everybody's doing great So they're gonna destroy all of that and while they're eating that we're gonna drop in some food for the guys over here And throw this right in here I'm gonna dump in a lot because actually believe it or not not only do all the fish eat it But the lungfish and Mowgli the turtle actually eat this food as well So once they realize the food's dropped in right here, they're all gonna come crashing over and Have a good time Mowgli's in the back and he's found himself some pellets right there You can see he eats the pellets Willie might come around to eat as well, but you can see all the fish in this tank are doing incredible. Willie's coming out of his little hidey hole right here, preparing to take on some of the food. And right here, guys, Willie is getting in on some of the food. This garami's blocking the way, but you can see him munching right here. Look, he's gonna go down and grab some pellets. And with that being said, guys, that is it for today's video. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. I do hope you did enjoy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.